Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the family of uh, the famous Icelandic mountaineer John Snorri. Uh, John Snorri and Alisa Sparra were climbing uh, K2 in 2021 and trying to be the there with them was uh, Ali's uh, son, son, Ali Sadbara's second son, Zahir. He is K2. He was also climbing with John and Ali Sadbara, the family's younger sister. So I'll hand you over to Lena, uh, who will give you a press release. Thank you for having us here. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank the Pakistan nation for a warm welcome to us. The events which took place in February 2021 were difficult for us as a family and for the family of Ali Sadpara and Juan Pablo. The friendship between Jon Snorri and mountaineering hero and the Latin of Pakistan, Mr. Ali Sadpara, was so sincere and strong that we as a family have felt a strong commitment for visiting Pakistan for a personal thank those who supported us in a professional and personal manners. And to visit the past of Pakistan, Jan was in love with just as much as his special place in Iceland. We traveled here in a hope of being present if an opportunity had been for Jan being moved away from the path towards the summit of K2 to a resting place close to his friend and climbing partner Ali and the climbing partner Juan Pablo. The safety of those part participating in such action has always been the utmost importance for us. However, today we got the news that the team of four mountaineers led by Ming Maji was unsuccessful in their attempt. After spending two hours on the summit of K2, based on the information we have, there was some new snow and the mountain creating an avalanche risk. The new information about the condition in the mountain from Mingmaji and other expedition will help us evaluating our options going forward. As of now, it is too early to go through these options since new information is still coming in. The information and experience from this year expedition have illustrated well how much safety needs to be part of such a mission. Also, it's clear from the information coming from the expedition that Jan current locations is probably one of the most challenging in the mountain and moving him could have created, created a serious safety hazard for, for the 150 plus mountaineers summiting K2 this summer. We as a family would like to highlight that Jan should only be moved in a manner is safe for those in Molving and all the climbers on the mountain. Jan's and Ali's team was strong team built on friendship. Their lives and achievement as mountaineer are unique and such that both nations, Pakistan and Iceland, will remember them through the mountaineering and the pioneering history of both nations. I tru truly believe that Jan and Ali summited K2 on the 5th of February, 2021. 
It is not easy to explain the journey of sorrow which I and the children have been on since we lost Jan. To be here in Pakistan is an important milestone on our journey. Jan and I were from the very beginning of our relationship an extremely strong team of two persons, unified in one spirit. We were always aligned in our decisions for creating a life worth living. Jan and Ali's K2 winter expedition was no exception. Jan had my full and unconditionally support in persuading his childhood dream climbing K2 both in summer and winter condition. We as a family are grateful for the great support and the warmth expressed by so many people. We would like to thank the government of Pakistan, the chief of Pakistan army, and the commanders of 10 corps. Pakistan Foreign Office, the local government of Gilgit, Baltistan province, Mr. Khalid Kursid, Chief Minister, Mr. Raya Nasser, Minister of Tourism, Mr. Askar Atias Mintur, the family and friends of Ali Safara, the good people of Pakistan the local and international media for their continuing support. We also want to thank the local military commanders and the pilots of SCARDU, who led the search and mission, and especially Satit Satpara, Elia Saikli, and PK Sherpa, who were with Jan and Ali during the last days on the mountain and have gone through so much alongside with our family. And finally, a special heart from the family to Major Irfan, who played an important part in the search and the rescue, but died in another mission, whereas they were on a search and a rescue mission. Finally, we would like to express our warmest regard to Vanessa O'Brien, our very dear friend, Colonel, Colonel Hassan bin Aftab, and the mountaineering fraternity and soror sorority, which has supported us in many ways, both during and after the event which took place on K2, February 2021. I hope I have covered all the names, uh, but if anybody is left out, it's not intentional. Pakistan will always be in my heart, uh, my children's heart, and as such, we plan to return in a few years, a uh, time when the children are more grown up and work together as a family to K2 Base Camp. Uh, I want to thank you for having us here. Now, if you have any question, we would love to answer them. Thank you. you know, uh, the thing is uh, that uh, it has been almost 18 months since this happened. So what do you suggest? What should be the uh, proper way to rescue and retrieve dead body from uh, near the summit that is hanging on there? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, from the, those 18 months, we have learned a lot on our journey. And after now, we know more than we did. So uh, to rescue Jan from where he is now located, we need, a, we need to put a team up that is just especially coming to K2 mm. to recover his body. So you, you want a special team to be deputed to rescue I, I'm not saying that, but that's what we learned from those 18 months. That if we, we are going to move him, because he's located on a quite uh, dangerous location, and uh, it's not possible to cut the line, because then 
it, it can happen that he takes down the line for, uh, for the other climbers and it will, uh, you know, uh, then the other climbers will not be able to pass back. So it's, it's a difficult situation he's in, we, the location, but uh, we know now we, there has to be a special team who goes to the mountain just for the recovery. Excuse me, can, can you please? Can government or agency can help you to recover the body from death? Sorry, can you? Uh, Lena is asking, is, did the Pakistan government help you to recover the body and all that stuff? Uh, the, Pak yeah, oh, the Pakistan government have helped us tremendously. So we are so grateful for all their help. But uh, like we said, uh, now we noticed more than we did before. So, yeah. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, just to both the questions, I'd just like to add one thing to your question. In the last 18 months, a lot of efforts have taken place. Even this summer, uh, an effort took place and a special team was deputed by one of the uh, tour operators team, Lena Tang Mingma. Four people went up day before yesterday on the mountain, especially to get John out of that path and bury him with Ali Satpara. But that expedition failed because, as you all know, anybody could, by doing or moving him, uh, it was so, it, it is such a difficult situation that if we move him or somebody moves him, it is a possibility that anybody on that mountain and everybody on that mountain, their lives will be in danger. So what we have learned is that we there, there, there will have to be more specialist uh, things which will have to be done. Uh, thank you. To put, an halt, to put an halt on the expedition, uh, they, they are uh, going to come to the summit and then to rescue. Sir, uh, what we have realized is that it is, it is almost impossible for the people who we were, we were hoping that those who go up will be able to rescue them or not rescue but move it. But it is impossible. It takes more than 18 hours from Camp 4 to go up and come down. They are physically exhausted and even if they try, they cannot because those who are, like Nina said, those who are above them may not be able to come down. And those who are below him, they may also lose their lives and there is a lot of risk. कोई मुतालबा नहीं है ये सिर्फ आपको शुक्रिया कहने के लिए और पाकिस्तान के शुक्रिया कहने के लिए और आपको सिर्फ ये बताने के लिए यहाँ पे हैं कि जो कुछ अभी हुआ है क्योंकि पूरी इंटरनेशनल मीडिया में आज तक इसके समकाल सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू जो अली सरपरा और साजिद के लिए हुआ था वो नहीं था सो मुतालबा नहीं है what do, I, I'm really grateful for all their help. They have showed us so much support in everything that we've done. So we couldn't have done this without the government's help. Beyond our expectations. Yeah, beyond our expectations. So what is, uh, what is your message for others? Sorry, see, so you had the question? I just wanted to ask that, do you have any specific person or team that you want to come here and uh, start searching the body or something? Uh, well, uh, as we are gathering all the new information now, uh, we still have to process it and decide the further plan. Is this something for permission kind of thing or what? That's binding you uh, to find some specific no, person? No, no, there are a lot of qualified persons to do this. Uh, we are just assessing the information and then processing and deciding what we will do in the further coming, yeah. This will happen this year or next year? This summer or next year? Hassan? Um, uh, because uh, as of today, uh, probably by in the next couple of days, uh, all the teams will be back from K2 base camp. So it is not probably possible to do it this year. Uh, we made all our efforts. We talked to all the people on K2 who were going and the teams, but uh, I think it will now be uh, another effort. To the question from the lady, uh, it's so technical uh, an operation that not anybody can do it. 
Please remember that in the last mm -hmm. 100 years, probably 90 people summited if we leave this year. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult to reach the place where John is. And to move him from there, the risk is so great to the other climbers that uh, that restricts the window to such a short period that uh, it has to be either before everyone goes up or after everyone comes down. So it restricts everything. And please, all of you, uh, just consider if any of our loved one is there mm -hmm. for the last 18 months. So the trauma and the, the like she said, uh, she has a little, you know, their basic la language is Icelandic. Just imagine the, the trauma that goes on and everything. But, uh, and they want to, <laughs> you have somebody's phone. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, uh, we're still trying. Uh, it was very disappointing mm. yesterday when we saw that the team did not make it. Lena, you want to say something on that? That the team yesterday did not work, yeah. they could not. Yesterday was a difficult day for us when we realized that the team that went up for the recovery couldn't make it. Uh, but uh, also then we understood better the, what is needed to do. Um, so we only learned from that, from the yesterday. Hmm. Uh, How many attempts have been there? Uh, you see, but there was one dedicated attempt? Yeah, just yes. one and dedicated. Apart from that, uh, yeah. people have been going up and seeing if there's a possibility to do it. Mm. But like I said, and like what the family think, the situation is so difficult that everybody want, may want to do it, but then when they see the location, they see the slope, they see where he is, mm. uh, it probably becomes impossible for them to do anything. People have reached out, many people have reached out to the family to help, but uh, it, uh, no helicopter can go up, uh, none of us can definitely go up. So uh, there's very limited uh, options. So that was the reason why the, the attempts are less, but of course. Right, um, the difference between Ali and John, Ali's, uh, if I tell you about it, may I? Yes, mm -hmm. please. Uh, the Ali was is uh, the highest. So about 30 meters below is, uh, was, uh, uh, sorry, John is the highest, mm -hmm. then 30 meters below is Ali, and then uh, I think more than 100, 200 meters below is uh, JP, John Pablo. Uh, the reason why this is it, I, I'm sure you all have seen the pictures that famous wall, they call it the Serac. So it is ahead of it. It's right below the summit. So um, that's why Lena also said that she and we all believe that they summited because when you reach that place, then it is, it is a possible kind of done thing that you have summited. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so the, uh, they are, John is up, then is Ali, and then is JP. It's very difficult to move them across the traverse that is that ice wall. Uh, Sajid was there with Ilya and PK Sherpa and another uh, mountaineer. So they were able to do it. It's nothing less than a miracle, I will say. Mm -hmm. It's nothing less than a miracle that Ali was able to be moved across and Sajid was able to bury him. But where a person can him not climb himself Moving 100 meters takes hours. Yeah. So just imagine that once they did that, they could not do it with John. Mm. So uh, it, though they wanted to, and of course, Sajid wants to do it. Sajid has had asked, uh, was in touch with Lena, want, offering to help to do it. And we all want to do it. Every mountaineer on the mountain wants to do it. But it is very difficult. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lena, I think you should answer. He's asking that would anyone else uh, from your family want to go to uh, to K2 Summit? Uh, I um, think you want to go to the base camp, but yeah. you know, maybe Ac the young boys. Actually, Jan is the only Icelandic person who has been to K2. Uh, I even know not. Every country has a person that has 
made it to K2. K2 is really extreme mountain, as you know. It's so you have to be a really good technical uh, climber and and have a strong mind that just like Jan and Ali had, they were extremely strong climber, both of them. So when it happened, I know that all of us kept hoping because we kind of uh, believed that they would return. So I think climbing K2 is not for everybody. <coughs> and uh, no, we have young, we have, uh, I have boys that are five, six, 14, and then a girl for, is that is 16, and then 21 and 22. But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nobody is ready to climb K2 and yeah. So have you initiated any awareness campaign <coughs> back, back home in Iceland? Have I, sorry? Have you initiated, have you initiated any awareness campaign back home in Iceland yeah. regarding the mountains, <coughs> mountains in Pakistan? Yeah. And the difficulties involved in uh, something. Yeah. Uh, Jan Snorri is a really uh, his hero in the, in the mountaineering back in Iceland. Everybody know who he is. We are a kind of small nation. We are a little bit under a million. So <laughs> everybody knows everybody. And also uh, we have a big. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Compassion when it comes to difficult situation. Yeah. And maybe every single Icelander knows about K2, knows about Pakistan. Yeah, every single Icelander uh, is following my story uh, and I uh, knows about Pakistan. And they are really curious about my trip to Pakistan. And uh, to get to know a little bit about you <coughs> and how Pakistan is. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, we can Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, it's been an honor to be with you. Uh, I would just request uh, all of you, uh, since there's this bond between Iceland and Pakistan, and uh, you can see here there's a family from Iceland and how they have uh, uh, they feel bonded towards mm -hmm. Pakistan. Mm -hmm. I would request all of you to, uh, in your own time, please pray for uh, Ali, John, and JP, and especially for John that we can uh, recover him and put him in a decent place, uh, in a decent resting place, which I think goes across every religion and every humanity. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.